came back in a different direction. Check that out. Check that out. loaded let's go have some fun all right on the road now headed out to do a little bit of detecting and uh, don't have any real big places to go but I've got three places that I've hunted before I'm gonna go back to that uh, uh, vacant lot where I found that uh, they did that video called no way what a day and found that walking Liberty half dollar and barber and Indian head and trifecta of nickels and dimes and uh, then went back and found that Rosie, and there's probably still something there. It's just a lot of trash. You just have to dig through a lot of trash to find it. And uh, I'm gonna hit that place in a, little, in a little bit. I'm going back to a place called Relic Roundup later on today. I did about 11 videos at this place uh, earlier on in my YouTube career and found lots of stuff, but it's a rodeo arena that they keep plowing up. And every time they plow it up, there's always something to be found. There were some old houses there. We found stuff dated back to the late 1800s. Uh, into the early 1900s there. So you never know what you might find there. And then I'm headed out right now to a, a ballpark. It's a baseball field that uh, where an old school used to be from the 19, I think 20s and 30s and 40s until uh, desegregation started and then they mixed in with the other schools. But uh, it's a very old school, very old community. And uh, there's a ball field there. And I found, a, I found a few things there a long time ago when I first started with my Ace 250 Garrett H250 detector. And now I've got this Equinox that I'm going to go and uh, hunt because of a lot of iron ore there. And so we're going to see what we can find in that place. It's a ball field in the 40s and 30s, but there was an old house site there before it was a ball field. And so I'm hoping to, to find stuff because I found some old Ford car parts there and uh, I found uh, other things there and uh, nothing really, really big. But it is an old house site. You never know what you can find. And with this Equidox, it really sniffs out a lot of things that uh, other detectors miss. So we're going to go give it a whirl. And so don't forget, somewhere along this video, I'm going to be doing a trivia question. And so if you're the first one to answer the trivia question correctly and you put the comments that you comment below, uh, I'm going to send you a Preacher Digger sticker and something else, a little surprise I'd like to give people. So be watching, listening for that. I don't know where I'm going to do it, beginning, the middle of the end. So I appreciate your, your support. And if you haven't subscribed, I just really encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell notification. And every time I load up a video on Mondays at 1.30, it will ding and let you know. And you can watch the latest Preacher Digger episode. All right. I've got a little ways to go. Until then, I'll see you out in the field. All right, I'm out here on location, and uh, you can see the little ball field right there. There's the old backstop. And uh, this was the baseball field. And the football field is over there back behind in those woods. But it's grown up so much, you can't even really get out there to do anything. But I'm going to hunt this field right here. The old house used to sit right there toward those cars. Well, maybe toward more toward the road. And, uh, and so... Who knows? It's an old football, a baseball field back in the 30s and 40s. It could be some good old stuff out here. And then the field goes back in those woods. So I'm going to check out those woods a little bit as well. And so let's, uh, let me show you the new setup. I've been having trouble with my sound through my GoPros and it's just been real irritating. And some people have commented. So I've got to wireless system now. And so I'm doing everything on wireless. So let me show you my setup on that and then we'll get out there and start swinging. All right, here's my setup today. I'm gonna to be using that handle I used in my last video. Got my GoPro on my selfie mode right there back toward me. But I'm using my camera, my phone camera, because it does the best sound quality and the best video quality better than the GoPro action cams. But uh, you can see here, I've got the wireless system attached to my phone right here. And then I've got the receiver part attached underneath my clothes to where uh, it's going to have good quality sound. And yet you really can't see it because uh, it's inside my, my hoodie. But uh, it's going to have good quality sound. And I'm not going to have that, uh, that sound when you're moving the camera like this through the GoPro because the mics are so sensitive. Uh, this is going to be a lot better setup. And so we'll try that out and we'll see what it's going to do today. So let's go. Let's have some fun. All right. I've just gone from the truck over here. 
and uh, coming up by these woods and check this out. I got a 28 to a 31 signal and um, you can tell I'm at an old house site, definitely digging up old milk glass and uh, there's another piece of it right here. And, and so, but that wasn't my signal. My signal's right here. And it's gonna be an old buckle. And so this is a good sign. It's got a little design on it. I'll wipe it on my pants. I can't tell really what it is. Definitely a buckle. And so that's what I wanted. I wanted uh, to be on this old house site. And with buckles, there's got to be old coins, and there's got to be old jewelry. And so we're going to stay up here close to these trees and dig up in these trees as well. All right, let's take a picture. Let's keep on going. All right, check this out, guys. I was just uh, dug my other signal right here. I'm still in this little area. Just got a 30, 31 signal. Just popped it up. And check this out. Can you see it? Right there. That. It's going to be an old ring. Being 3031, that's going to be popping up as a, a silver ring, I guarantee you. And it's a, yeah, it's going to be an old style silver ring. All right. Can you see that? Let me clean that. There we go. Get that focused in. Yeah, it's going to be a old style silver ring. I'll take that any day. All right, we may be in a good hot spot here, so let's keep on going. Let's get that thing to focus. All right, let's keep on going. All right, got a 1213, and look at that. Definitely on an old house site. That's a good signal there, a good sign. It's an old butter knife. Nothing special, but at least that tells me I'm on an old house site, and that's what I'm, I was hoping for. That's what the old map said. So let's keep on going. All right, I found that uh, buckle in that uh, silver ring right over there. Been making my way up and down through here and I come back over here and I was getting a 30, 29 to a 35 jumping up and down and uh, just dug it up. I just saw it and well, I did have it. Where'd it go? There it is. There it is right there. And uh, I saw some writing on it doesn't look that old. Uh, I don't know what's going to be. I've dug these before. There's a, I guess when you buy boots or something like that, um, it's a Justin boot uh, token or whatever goes on top of the boot. I'll wipe it off on my pants. Let me kind of get a better look. Work boots. Original Justin work boots. All right, I'll take that. Those are good finds. I'll take these uh these old relics any day. All right, looks like it's paying off. I'm just out here. You can see the old school. I'm giving away my location right there at that uh, an old school right there, but uh, dates way back, and uh, there's no telling what's out in these fields through the years. So far, I think the house that right right up in there, and so I'm just kind of digging all around. So let's keep on going. Let's see what we can find. All right, I'm still in this same area right here, just working myself back up and down, and uh, definitely it's paying off. I just got another uh, 13 to six, 16 signals jumping up and down. I wanted to show you all this and how good the Equinox is on some of this stuff. I want to show you, I dug first, I dug this out, and that was going to be my iron nail there. It's giving me kind of maybe my higher tone, but that wasn't what I was digging. I hear two signals in there. Check that out. And I just dug it up. I already looked at it. And y'all see that? You know what that is? That's going to be a silver nickel. All right. Got some silver. 1943. Still in good shape. 1943, is that a P? I guess that's a P. I can't tell. Maybe you can tell on the camera better than I can. I can't see what I don't have my glasses on. Anyway, that's a good that's a good signal. There's definitely an old house out here. Definitely things to be found. 
And like I said, I hunted this a long time ago with my Ace 250, but Ace 250 is nothing compared to an Equinox, Equinox 800. So plus, uh, th I detected this when I was real, seven years ago when I first started detecting. So I've gotten a lot better in my detecting days. All right, let's take a picture. Let's keep on going. All right, I've been moving on from that other side. This is where the house side is over there. And I've just been coming back over this way. I'm kind of going to work myself up to that uh, backstop there and back over to my truck and back over to the old house site. But anyway, I was getting a 20, uh, about a 27, 26, 25. It was jumping all around and it just popped it out of the hole and it's going to be a token. And uh, yeah, it's going to definitely be a token. It's going to be a used token. How do I know it's used? Because of that little clip right there. They got it clipped off means it's been uh, redeemed. Let's see. Let's see what this is. Let me clean this up. <clears throat> uh, wine gardens. Wine gardens. Ten cents on any purchase. More than a dollar. Only one check accepted on each purchase. I have to research that where that's coming out of. It cleans up good. Wine gardens, better food for less. I'll check that out. I got a token. I'll take a token any day. I love tokens. All right, let's put it down. Let's uh, get some pictures. Let's keep on going. Well, found that token over there. Worked myself up, worked myself over. Came back over here and just kind of working this house site. That's what I want to be trying to do. And um, right here is where I found, I believe that war nickel, uh, or at least that buckle and that, uh, that silver ring. And you're not going to believe this. I was getting a 10, a 10 signal. So much, I haven't been doing any live digs out here just because it's just simply been so much trash. I mean, I am digging stuff up like this right here. Just tons of stuff like this. A lot of house site trash. And so every time I try to do a live dig, it comes out to being trash. And every time I don't do a live dig, it, uh, it's being something different. Can y'all see that? Can you see it right there? I see gold guys and girls, I should say. And I can't believe it. The silver ring's right there. And I came past this and I missed it while ago. Came back in a different direction. Check that out. Check that out. I, I don't even know what it is yet. Let's, uh, but it definitely looks gold. It definitely looks gold. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Let's get this thing to focus. Getting out in the sun a little bit. I can't get it to focus. There we go. There we go. Check that out. Let me uh, let me clean it up. I got to use both hands to do that. And let's see if we can't get a mark off the inside of it. All right, I'm still filming right here, so we'll keep that going. Well, I don't see any markings in it. Let's see if there's anything on this side. There's some markings right there. Let's see, uh, get the loop out. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be 10 karat. 10 karat gold. It's going to be some little two hearts on top. And uh, I have to test those diamonds. They look like little diamond chips, that's all they look like. Uh, but hey, I'll take a 10 karat gold ring right with a silver ring. This little pot's paid off. That goes to show you 
Seven years ago, when I started detecting with an Ace 250, Garrett Ace 250, versus an Equinox 800, seven years later, how much you've improved and your machinery improved and the stuff that you can find. All right, places are never hunted out. All right, let me get some close-up on this and we'll keep on going. All right, guys, 10 carat. 10 carat gold. I think it's going to be right down in there. It's going to be the markings, but I can't hold it still enough to show you right in there little diamond chip necklace i mean uh, a ring i'll take gold any day so let's get it up here let's get some pictures and let's keep on going what else is going to be out here today well i'm still in this house site and i decided to kind of get up in these woods a little bit and wow oh boy tons and tons of trash and glass I've been chasing this signal for about the last 10 minutes and just digging up iron nails. Here's, here's one of them right here. Digging tons and tons of that stuff up. Uh, just, it must have been a trash pile here or something. But anyway, I finally found it. It's in the hole. I haven't even looked at it. I just popped it. I just saw a little edge of something shiny. So I wanted to turn the cameras on just in case. What? What is this? Wow, that's not that old. That's that's pretty. What is that? Preacher Digger got his cross. I don't know. What is that? Bringing up a 25. Well, keep dropping it. Sterling. It says Sterling right there. Can you read that? An excellent shape. Broken pin. Smashed. I don't know how old that is. That's got to be military. If you know what that is, let me know. Because it was a pin. Some like Army Cross, looks like. I got something like this at the house that my friend Army Man gave me. It's cleaning up real nice. Look at that. That's going to shine up really nice once I get that tarnish off of it. Wow, that's pretty nice. I like that. I can handle that. Right up here in the trap, right up here in the in the woods. Right up in here. I dug all that other stuff right over here. So I'm in I'm I'm all in the same spot the entire time. And uh definitely the old house site, trash pit, whatever this is. All right, I'm gonna put that right there. And let's get some pictures and let's keep on going if you know what that is comment uh, in below i'm gonna look it up hopefully i'll know what it is before you tell me but it looks military to me all right let's keep on going all right it's trivia time in my last video gridiron treasures the second half i found a little necklace what was the name on that necklace the first one that can answer that correctly in the comments below is going to win a PD sticker and something else is a little surprise. So good luck, everybody. Well, I'm out here in this rodeo arena. This is what we call Relic Roundup. In fact, the largest viewed uh, video that I've ever made was called First Time Using the Equinox 800. And it was filmed right here after we had done hunted this so many times. I brought the Equinox out here and, uh, and found all kinds of stuff. And um, as you can see, as I'm walking along, you can see how much glass. There's glass all through here. And the pottery, everywhere we look. And every time they disc this rodeo arena up, we always find marbles, we find coins, we find all kinds of stuff. Uh, you can see where I was walking, coming back down this way. And this is the best kind of find that you can find. And I got a good signal. Look down on the ground and check this out. A surface fine. It's a rosy dime, but it's silver. 1959 rosy dime laying right on top of the ground. How about that? You can't beat that, can you? So we found barbers out here. We have found jewelry out here. We have found, I found a barber dime right over there. And tokens, uh, watch fobs, I have found about five or six watch fobs out here we have found lots of stuff so let's get a picture let's keep on going and see what we can find this is positive uh 
a sign that there could be more out here. All right, I made it back home. Got everything laid out. And so let me turn you around. Let me show you what I got. All right, here's all my trash. Dug a cup, mason jar lid. That goes up in there. A bunch of just stuff you dig in a house. What? Tell you what, these things right here, they do. They sure do ring up really, really nice, like a good coin. But uh, what in a coin? Old bullet, right there. That's all my trash. Here's uh, what I found. I got three memorial pennies. Got that little piece of butter knife. I got that uh, boot uh, token, whatever you call that. They strap them on top of those new boots, I guess. I got this little decorative little buckle. I'm going to clean that up, see if there's only anything on the inside of that, see if it's uh, got some markings. I did find this old token that's been redeemed. You can tell by the, the piece cut off the edge. Wine garts, uh, wine gartens or whatever. I think this is a store down in the Houston area, what I looked up so far. I uh, did get this little thing right here. It's going to clean up really, really nice just rubbing it. You see how it shines up. I'm not sure what it is. It's going to be... Uh, Looks like something military that they clip on and they put that thing on their chest. I forgot what they call those things. But uh, this is sterling, so it's going to date back probably 1970 or earlier. Uh, I don't. It may be World War II period. I don't know. It's, it's in good, great shape, but I'm glad to get that. So I did get silver and gold. I did get this uh, 43 war nickel and got that 59 or 50, yeah, 59... Rosie Dime, that was laying right on top of the ground too. That was unbelievable. But that's what happens when they disc that ground up. Uh, something every time comes up. I got an uh, old ring here. This is a silver ring. Uh, I know it's silver, even though I couldn't find a stamp in it. Uh, so I got to clean it up and see if I can find anything else in it. But I did get a silver ring, and I did get this uh, gold 10 carat ring here. And got those right close to one another, probably within five feet of one another. And so there's all the trash, and there's all the treasure. Like I always say, the greatest treasure is not what can be found in a ball field. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, just want to say happy hunting, and God bless.